Hey everyone, Steve here with Class A Surfacing. So, every once in a while I get a question. What's the best way to validate my part is perfectly balanced across center line? And um, it's it's a pretty easy thing, but it's kind of buried. It's, um, it's one of those things where you have to know it. You just can't, you're not just gonna find it. So I have a spline that I extruded out and I'm gonna go ahead and X-form this. And, uh, Let's go like this, let's go like this, let's go like this, and then I'm just going to move some of these, and I want to make sure it's balanced across center lines. So I'm going to pick one side, and I'm going to hold the control key down, pick the other side, and bring this down a bit. So this is perfectly balanced. I know that because when I go into, I have the icon pulled out, object information, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to pick this surface. Now, this is where you have to be careful. If I just simply pick the surface or the body, right, the X form right over here, the extrude is just the extrude, but if I pick the X form and select OK, you'll notice it just gives me some information, basic information about the X form. It's alive, it's an X form, parent type, extrude, so on and so forth, nothing fancy. But if I come in here and hover for a moment, get my quick pick, and this allows me to select the face. When I select the face, I'm not picking the actual body, I'm just picking a face off of the body, select OK, and you'll notice I get some additional stuff. So this is telling me the normal off of my absolute. And across that point, that normal in the middle, you'll see it is currently zero, which means it's perfectly balanced across my center line. Okay, that is the easiest way to figure that out. You can see it gives me some other information. Now I can prove this because if I come in here now, I'm just going to double click on that X form, and I'm just going to move this little node just just a tiny bit. I moved it just an infinitesimal amount. Now when I go in there, pick my face. And you can see just an absolute smidgen that it shows. It is no longer perfectly symmetrical about my plane. So that is the easiest way to figure out if something is perfectly symmetrical across the center plane of a vehicle. So you can see just, just a hair. It doesn't take much to throw it off. If you see anything other than zeros here, then you know it's not symmetrical. Anyway, very quick and easy tip. Hope you learned something. If you did, like the video, share with your friends, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks.